Welcome to PLZ Soccer's Premier League Reaction Show. I'm Patrick Mullen on what will be your weekly update on everything English football. We'll have special guests, live competitions, and you'll get your chance to give us your say on what you think will happen this season. We've got to start looking at this weekend, an incredible round of fixtures, and here's the results for you now. What a start it was for Brighton 2, Manchester United 1, a late winner for them. Crystal Palace 0, West Ham 2, Fulham 2, Leicester City 1, Man City 4, Ipswich Town 1, Southampton 0, Nottingham Forest 1, Tottenham Hotspur 4, Everton 0, Aston Villa 0, Arsenal 2, Bournemouth 1, Newcastle 1, Wolves 2, Chelsea 6, an incredible game at the Molyneux Stadium and it all finished Liverpool 2, Brentford 0, Manchester United, we've got to talk about them, we've got to start with them, another disappointing result, that late winner by Yao Pedro giving Brighton all three points. Ten Hag, he was frustrated after the game and he gave us off his thoughts straight after. We have, uh, of course, we have to, to talk about this, uh, how, how we act in that situation as a team. And so there were uh, more than one mistake in, in that occasion and yeah, it has a big impact on the, on the score. That's... Um, very disappointed, yeah. Um, because also in the community shield, we concede just before time, we concede the goal. So we, we should be more clinical in such situations. Um, read the game, um, uh, take the point if you can't win anymore. And I think we were close to win this game, but then definitely don't lose the game. Manchester United, well, it's the fans. They've been calling out for a summer window like this. A number of signings, Joshua Zerki into the club, Matthias De Ligt. But how far do you think they could go this season? Is the league title an opportunity for Eric Ten Hag's men? Is it top four or will it be another disappointing top six, top seven, maybe even top eight campaign for Eric Ten Hag? Obviously, the pressure is going to build on the Dutchman. Do you think he's the man to lead Manchester United forward or will it be someone else? The next game we've got to talk about and well, a former manager up here in Scotland and that is Ange Postacoglu, Tottenham 4, Everton 0. Another disappointing game for Sean Dyche. But Tottenham, you've got to look at the positive for them. They've bounced back from that 1-1 draw against Leicester City and the opening goal scorer was Yves Basuma. He was banned by Ange Postacoglu last week for inhaling laughing gas, but he's bounced back this week with a goal and Anne Ange was full of praise for his midfielder after the game. Yeah, no, Biss, Biss was good and we know Biss is a good good footballer. Uh, you know, it's about him sort of being the best version of himself and he'll only get there if, um, you know, as we've spoken a few times, uh, you know, discipline's a big thing for him. I thought it was a disciplined performance from today, you know, not just the goal he scored, but he had a really important job for us. Um, we knew they'd sort of play fairly direct and he had to be there to <coughs> mop up second balls and, and intercept things and, uh, and he was you know, clean for the most part in possession, so um, good performance. There's got to be big pressure on Sean Dyche now. It's two defeats in the opening two games. They sit bottom of the Premiership table and with that new stadium coming and they've been, rel they've been avoiding relegation for years, could this be the year that they fall down? into the championship. Another team that will be hoping they can avoid the drop this season is Ipswich Town, a 4-1 defeat for them against Manchester City. The champions doing what they do best. They were behind after just seven minutes, but they bounced back with three goals in a matter of four minutes. But Erling Haaland, what a man he is. What a striker the Norwegian is. Well, another hat-trick for him, and he just keeps on scoring goals, doesn't he? His manager, Pep Guardiola, I'm sure loves him more than any of the fans claim to do, and he was full of praise for the Norwegian after the game. He did it in Salzburg, he did it in Germany. Yeah, the numbers are ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. So He can compete in terms of goals, goals with Cristiano Messi. The numbers are unbelievable. His age, short age, amount of goals, and he's an incredible threat for us, and we are really, really happy to have him, and hopefully he can be here for many, many years, so will be a good... A good, a good for us, really good for us. On to Sunday's games and there was an absolute cracker at Molyneux Stadium. It was Wolves 2, Chelsea 6, Esco Maresca's side really getting going in the second half. And one man in particular 
that managed to find the back of the net was Nonu Madueku, the man on all of the people's minds heading into the game. If you managed to miss it, he, well, he had a bit of a mishap on Instagram the night before, commenting about, well, the state of Wolverhampton as a city. All of the Wolves sound let them know that they had seen it heading into the game. Booze on every touch, but a second half hat-trick put them all to sleep. They weren't happy with that performance, but you have to say it's quite comical. He made, he took the mick out of the city. He goes there, scores a hat-trick, walks away with the match ball and gives Chelsea all three points. Up at Anfield, well, Arne Slot era at Liverpool is getting off to a flyer. Two victories in two, but he knows there's some tougher opponents coming for his men. It is. Uh, there were two good wins uh, against difficult opponents uh, because um, Brentford had a very good opening game last week. Uh, but um, there's still a lot for us to prove um, with the whole season coming up because I'm I said it a few times already. I think both of them team, both of the teams, Ipswich and Brentford, deserve our respect for the way they've played against us. But I'm not expecting one of the two in the top six in the upcoming season. So there's still a lot to prove for us. But it's always good to start off with two wins and two clean sheets. Luis Diaz and Mohamed Salah scoring the goals for Liverpool. How important will they be this coming season? You have to note, though, no new signings for Liverpool in the summer transfer window. If it's a side that didn't have enough last season to go on and win the league, could they win it this year with the new tactics of Arne Slot? One man in particular that's going to be important for them if they're going to do it, well, that is going to be Mohamed Salah. It's two weeks now down in the English Premier League. So let's take a look at the table. We've got Arsenal in third place, Brighton second and Manchester City first. Manchester United, well they're down at 11th next to Aston Villa and at the bottom of the Premiership table we have Ipswich Town, Wolverhampton Wanderers and Everton. Thank you for joining us here on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel and don't worry it won't just be me speaking every week. We're going to have special guests, special challenges, special competitions and I want you to get involved, get in touch with me and let me know what you think about the upcoming Premier League season. Who's getting relegated, who's winning the league and who will be playing their football in the Champions League next season. Thanks for joining us here on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel and we will see you next week.